So this is the MPG B760i Edge Wi-Fi. And uh, MSI, we always have B760, so first the chipset and then I means ITX, mini ITX. Inbox, I mean, I'm just going to take out the main board, right? The rest people don't have to see, right? No, the, mo the motherboard is uh, well, the I important mean, I thing. have some cables, some guy, oh, this is quite nice. Some, uh, some stickers. Ooh, hey, this is even really nice. I never saw that, did I? <laughs> Can yeah. I have them? Shiny stickers? It's included with many of our motherboards. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so some uh, quick guides, some, <laughs> some antennas. Uh, anyway, we're not going. We, do you want to talk about this? No, it's okay. Let's talk uh, maybe a little bit about the motherboard. Yeah. As well, <coughs> it's of course a mini ITX motherboard. Um, Basically, it will fit other cases as well, like most micro ATX, uh, ATX, and even extended ATX cases. They use the same screw hole, so you can fit an ITX board in there. I have no idea why you would want that. Usually, you would, of course, go for an ITX case. Um, it has a very strong VRM design, actually. So it's a direct 8 plus 1 plus 1 phase VRM design with 90 amp Dr. MOS. So also, in terms of high-end CPUs, you should be good to go. This can easily run even a Core i9, uh, as this is an Intel board, of course. Um, it has Lightning Gen 5 on the PCI Express slot. Uh, Mini are also ready for the future. Right now, you don't really need it uh, for graphics cards. Even in most situations, PCI Express Gen 3, if it's times 16, is not that big of a bottleneck even. Um, but you're ready for the future, at least. Um, it has two M.2 slots. Maybe let's go back to the board a little bit. Uh, Eric, can you show the two M.2 slots? Or can you find them, I should say? Well, well I know one is on the uh, back yeah, of the PCB. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And, and the other one? And then uh, the other one is below this heatsink. Yep, correct. So, and yeah, normally, typically, if I would install this, then on the back of the PCB, if you install this on the case, you want to put your OS drive there if you're using a uh, SSD for uh, operating system, because that one normally you don't have to upgrade or touch. Agree, Michiel? Uh, depends a bit on the case. In many cases, you can actually access it from the back. Okay. Well, if let's the cutout see. is big enough, I, I'm not sure about this one, uh, but if you can access it from the back, yeah. it's quite easy. Still yeah, then it's no problem. It. And over here we case. have the uh, a heat sink on top of it. I yeah. can. It has M.2 shield. So it has uh, one M.2 shield frozen, that's the one on the front. Um, so it depends a bit. Eric said like you would use the one with your operating system there, but I would personally recommend to use the, the one that gets hottest, um, to use that underneath the M.2 shield frozen. Yeah, heat that's sink. also correct. Uh, so yeah. for example, if you're using a Gen 3 and a Gen 4 SSD, Usually the Gen 4 SSDs tend to run a little bit harder, then I would put that one in the front and the other one in the back. Yeah, I agree. Um, it also has a 2.5 gigabit LAN, as well as Intel Wi-Fi 6E, and Intel Wi-Fi 6E also comes with Bluetooth 5.3 support. Oh, you see that very nice audio connector in the middle. That one uh, is supposed to be green, of course, but now with our uh, chroma key, it, it okay. turns gray. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, it has a, an eight-layer PCB uh, with two ounce thickened copper. Yeah, that's a little bit hard to see. Uh, I know, I'm trying to show them that. But yeah, uh, usually ITX boards have, have more PCB layers, and that has to do with all the stuff that you have to cram on a very little All PCB. the signal, uh, signals. Yeah, so basically all the, the traces have to walk over each other in terms uh, that's a bit to, to fit everything on that PCB. So that's why you're generally seeing more layers, and that one ha this one has an eight-layer PCB whereas most B760 boards would, for example, go for a six-layer PCB. Um, nowadays, Intel also supports um, overclocking on um, uh, the memory on B-series chipsets, so this one also, of course, fully supports XMP. It also has um, uh, iExpo, so basically meaning you can also run uh, an AMD Expo memory <laughs> kit on this uh, and run those settings, uh, even though it is an Intel board. Um, so yeah, basically it's, uh, it's ready for all types of uh, DDR5 modules.
If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel.